Our next performer is originally from Los Angeles. She lives in Oakland now, and she is a champion. She is the 2002 Oakland Grand Slam champion, and she is the first Latina to win the Bay Area Poetry Slam champion. She has a new book coming out. It's called Say With Your Whole Mouth, and she'll be signing out, so please support our artists. And please give a warm welcome to Melissa Peñales.
forcing me to carry. <laughs> or, how when I was 10, I wished that I was a superhero and that my breasts would be used for good rather than evil. <laughs> any female friends, because to them, I was there to make their boyfriends drool, and to them, I was a reminder of a society that said their bodies didn't measure up to mine. Or simply watching my mother's best friend die of breast cancer, and me, ten, screaming, don't go. You can have mine. I don't want them right now. I don't need them here. You can have mine. Punky booster, torpedo tits, it's real easy to call it like it is when you have no idea the damage you could do to a ten-year-old heart whose only prayer was that she would be so flat, she'd make the walls jealous. And no, this is not another I hate my body poem, because the truth is, I do love my breasts, but it's hard when you're young, and you have no idea why you have to be so different, why you have to feel punished. I still walk through this world with my chest largely guiding the way, and if I really were a superhero, I'd try to go back in time, so I could tell that 10-year-old little girl that there is nothing to worry about. I would tell her that someday someone's going to fall in love with you for your mind and your breasts will just be an added bonus. <laughs> someday you will walk the streets of your own neighborhood and not fear men with large hands and bad intentions. Someday you are going to write poems and be on stages and cause a fucking commotion and your breasts will have little to do with it. Don't be worried, baby. I will tell her. Because someday you sure are going to grow into yourself.